Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. And the next setting we're going to cover can be one of the trickiest. It is actually less to do with your machine and its capabilities, other than temperature, I should say, uh, and more to do with the filament that you're using. Now, we are basically going to be covering the temperature of the uh, extruder and the bed in this topic here. So as you can see, it says printing temperature, and what it means by that is the temperature of the nozzle. Your bed or build plate temperature is listed here under build plate temperature, and there are a couple other things that have to do with the filament, such as flow and wall flow. You can increase things like this, turn them up and down, as well as top and bottom flow if you want to extrude more filament while you're printing the top or bottom layer, or even less filament because you catch it blobbing or doing other things. Uh, there are lots of things you can adjust right there. Uh, one of the things that I do change quite often is the skirt and brim flow. I will turn the brim flow up slightly to make it just a little bit thicker because I find it a little bit easier to get my spatula under there, but that is basically the gist of the material options. Now there are four options up here, printing temperature, printing temperature, initial layer, initial printing temperature, and final printing temperature. Now this is like where I said it gets a little bit tricky with the naming. Now these are actually two different things, printing temperature, initial layer is the temperature it is going to print the first layer at. Initial printing temperature is the temper temperature that it's going to set the printer to in order to heat up the hot end. So basically, the way this is going to work is it's going to turn on, when it sends the G code before it starts printing anything, it's going to turn on to this initial printing temperature. Once it hits that temperature, it'll start moving and start printing but it can be set to continue heating. So it'll, it'll heat the printing, it, the first layer at the printing temperature initial layer. And then if you have this set to say 220, it will gradually rise to that 220. And then you can turn it back down for the final layer if you want a cooler finish and it will actually turn down to that temperature. And what it does is scales. Uh, basically, if my final printing temperature is five degrees below the layer below it, it gradually turns it down over a couple layers. So that is pretty handy. I generally keep these all at the same temperature because as I said, it's more filament specific. Um, there are certain filaments that will give you different finishes or sheens at different temperatures. So sometimes printing a model and then changing the temperature at the very end can give you cool effects. But for the most part, they remain the same and I don't change them. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.